Hi, the Luck Mom family. Good morning, good afternoon. Uh, depending where you are getting me from. Welcome to our live stream. My name is the Luck Mom Deborah Nyanchoka. In case you are seeing me for the very first time, I'm an ex housemaid of Saudi Arabia and I create awareness of what happens in the Middle East. So, in case you are getting me, let me know where you are getting me from. Uh, I'm going to do a shout out for the first uh, people. If you are getting me, let me know where you are getting me from. I can see two people already have joined. Just say hi to me. Let me know where you are getting me from. Uh, and I want people who are working in Lebanon. At least you contribute. Mutuambie ni nini naendelea Lebanon. Because tumeona watu wamelea sana kutoka Lebanon. Imekua kama outbreak. So in case you are watching me, let me know where you are watching me from. Uh, Garden of Eden. Lea Karimi, she is watching from Garden of Eden. Elizabeth, good afternoon dear. I am getting you uh, from Qatar. Thank you Elizabeth. Uh, those people are working in Lebanon. Leo tunataka mutuambia what is going in Lebanon. Imekua kama outbreak. Joy Joanna kwa Nairobi. Thank you Joy. Uh, happy Agola from Kenya. Uh, good afternoon. Fresha Wangare Wangui. How are you? What wa Lebanon? By the way, if you are working in Lebanon, uh, leo tunataka mchango wako kabisa kabisa. Lilian Yakuz, good afternoon. I'm watching from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Thank you. Uh, what were Lebanon? Anybody from Lebanon watching, please uh, contribute. Tell us if you are getting us because tumeona watu wengi kutoka Lebanon wamelia sana. Now that is why nimeamua kushia. There is a link nimeweka hapo ya watu wa Lebanon. Wana, wanaongea machungu sana paka adi unashindo sasa. Kunaendaje kama watu wetu wameenda kutafsa green pastures and they are suffering. What is really happening in Lebanon? I think ni meka yu linki hapo. Kuna, kuna watu, kuna mwanadada ni meona hapo madamu ingine alisema. Ukipata agent ambaya na kupeleka Lebanon. Uya kutaki mazuri. Alijaribu kueleza sana. Akasema uyo siyo mtu, uyo akutaki mazuri, we unaenda kutafutana na kifo, sijui nini, sijui nini. So, what is happening in Lebanon? Watu wa Lebanon tunataka kujua, nilikuwa nimeposti jana, nikawana watu wanasema, oh, hao ni watu wataki kazi, Lebanon tuko sawa. Wengine wanasema nyeo Lebanon hata maji kuoga ni one, once per week, hakuna hata maji. Wengine nikawana wanasema, eh, kunywa maji na zeitun, hakuna hata food. Wengine wanatema, wanasema hakuna mushara. So, atujui ni nini naendelea Lebanon. By the way, vile tunaongea hivi na jua. Chepungia na ruto anasema, getting clear mama from the mom. Thank you. Na jua saizi kuna watu wamepanga kuenda Lebanon. Kwa sababu maybe kuna hiyo mentality watu wanasema, oh Saudi Arabia ni kubaya sana, fadhali niende Lebanon. <sighs> Guys, we need to learn. Lebanon pia ni kwa warabu. Mwarabu ni yule mmoja. Lakini Lebanon imekuwa kama outbreak for the last two weeks. Nimeona watu wa Lebanon wanalia sana. Mtu wanasema tu akiwa aki, aki na shida, anapelekwa kwa ofisi ndio lakini uyo agent wa ofisi anamunyanyasa sawa sawa. Kama umeona hiyo clip ya ule mwanadada naituwa Rehema, wakona mwingine wa mwenye meka kipini hapa anaeleza shida zao pale Lebanon, wameregesho kwa ofisi lakini wanateswa. Sasa kitu fani, hawajui jina la bosi wao hata ofisi yao ya Nairobi kumaanisha walichukuliwa na mabrokers wenye wana ofisi i think it's good we learn from these incidents walichukuliwa na broker sasa huyo broker hana ofisi sasa ndiye alisema ati anataka kwenda kutafuta aone kama atapata jina la ofisi kumaanisha tu ni mtu tu alimchukua akamwambia kuna kazi Lebanon ule mtu alilipwa zake wao wameenda wameteseka wanaambiwa wajilipie tikiti Hawana pesa, hawajalipo mshara, wamefanya kazi na wajalipo mshara na wameambia wajilipie ticket. So kuna endaje, kuna endaje, najua kuna watu saizi wamejipanga mtu wamesema mi ni koredi naenda Lebanon. Na mtu, unajua hizi vitu watu usafiri tu chini ya maji. 
Mtu akifika pale akipatwa na shida ndio unakuja kushangaa kumbe huyu demo alikuwa ameenda Lebanon. Unajua njia ya mbii msafiri kabisa. Joirami anasema hi mama I'm watching from Saudi Arabia ni Mungu tu. Kuna mtu wa Lebanon anaweza kuwa na watch hapa tuambie ni nini naendelea huko. By the way nimeona comments huwa uh, nasoma every comment. Ninaendanga through every comment at least I learn vile watu wanasema. Ni mtu mmoja tu nilisema niliona akisema eh hawa wataki kazi Lebanon hakuna mateso. Na the uh, percentage kubwa walikuwa nasema Lebanon kuna shida. Hata kulipwa, hata mshahara yao haitoshani na ya Saudi Arabia by the way. Kuna mtu niliona anasema analipwa 250 dollars, 250 dollars tuseme hiyo ni 25,000. Kuna wengine walisema wanalipwa 20, 20,000. Na hiyo pesa pia wapewi. So najua kuna watu wetu ambao wanaangaishwa sana. Enyewe kazi imekosekana, but sometimes consider your safety first kabla ujaanza safari ukienda ukienda Lebanon. David Ondimo Rashid watching from Doha Qatar. How are you David? It has been long. So, kabla ujaanza safari yako ya kwenda Lebanon, fanya uchunguzi kwanza. Isiwe kuna mtu ataenda saa hizi maybe one month to alafu anza kusema umeingia Lebanon huko unajua iko hivi kwa sababu kama nilikuwa nimepost jana hiyo hiyo clip ya hao wasichana wawili walikuwa wanajieleza. Unaona mtu ni kama ana afya bora na alikuwa ameenda kutafuta green pastures maisha yake imeshakuwa ngumu sasa hata anashindwa vile atarudi nyumbani na huyo mtu anaambiwa anaambiwa hebu ujilipie ticket kama unataka kwenda nyumbani kukula ni shida na wameshafanya miezi hawajalipwa so ukipata broker ama agent yote ambaye anataka kukupeleka Lebanon jua tu huyo akupendi na pia we ukikubali kwenda Lebanon then it means pia we upendi maisha yako Juu nimeona imekuwa kama outbreak. Ya watu wanasema oh Lebanon hivi, Lebanon vile. So hata unashindwa kuelewa kwani kunaendaje. So ukisikia umepatana na broker na kuambia nakupeleka Lebanon. Usikubali haraka hivyo kwa sababu Lebanon the fact is that Lebanon they don't have an, uh, any contract. Hawana maktaba yoyote kuhusu na Kenya ya kufanya biashara ya ku, ku, ku export and importing labor i wanna i wanna i wanna they have not made any contract na Kenya so ndio maana unapata watu wakikuwa na shida kusaidiwa inakuwa shida sana tuned from middle east alibana getting you clear thank you judith nekesa wana ma, wana wana mbuko thank you so if you have started your journey to lebanon kwanza think twice Juu nimeona kuna watu wengine huwa very mean kwa comment section. Mtu anasema nani alikutuma huko? Sasa mulienda mkutuambia saa hizi hebu kufieni huko. Guys, kama umezaa ama if you have a sister or a relative, ama you are planning to kuzaa, usijaribu kwa kucheka wale wenzako ndio wameshikwa na shida. Kitambo mtu amue kwenda kutafuta green pastures. Huyo mtu amepitia Maybe mtu ame ameachwa na watoto hata Saudia pesa ni kidogo. Lakini sasa ndio nilikuwa nasema pesa ni kidogo lakini compared to Lebanon ya Saudia ni juu. Mshahara ya Saudia ni juu compared na ya Lebanon. Vile nimeona watu wanasema kwa comment section wanalipwa 20,000, 25,000, 22,000. Tunaona na hiyo pesa upewe kwa mkono hata after kufanya kazi ngumu. Mm. Uh, Papa Jonas anasema mimi niliitwa Qatar na kambuni inaitwa Nafco. Kuwa fire alarm technician 2021. Nikapeleka kubeba milango ras about stadium uwanja wa container. Nilivumilia one year I resigned nikarudi back Kenya. Pole <laughs> sana Papa Jonas singeza kumaliza hiyo hiyo statement yako paka chini naona ni kama ukuridhika na hiyo kazi ambayo uko umepelekwa by the way that is the truth uh, Judith anasema cheza kama mkenya use your contract to, well you will enjoy working with these arabs that is the advice papa jones it's good that you have shared this information nataka kuambia watu 
ukiwa umesomea kitu fulani obvious baba Jonas alipelekwa aende kukua fire alarm technician maybe alikuwa na hiyo knowledge lakini kufika pale akaenda kupepeshwa milango ujue tu ile kazi utaambiwa ti unaenda kufanya kama ni Qatar hiyo that is one way ya kutuambia ile kazi unaambiwa unaenda kufanya Qatar sio hiyo mimi niko na friends wangu wenye wamefanya kazi Qatar ukiwa mgeni mgeni nyinyi muta, muta, munaweza kuwa muna muna, muna muna mwagia nyanya maji kwa nini munajaribu kutengeneza manyanya kwa greenhouse munafanya mujengo usiana ati oh, mimi ni accountant nenda kukua accountant hiyo kazi sio hiyo utafanya papa jones ni example mzuri jua alienda kukua technician wa fire alarm lakini alimaliza kuenda kupepeshwa milango so ile kazi utaenda kufanya middle east sio yenye umeitiwa unaweza ambia unaenda kukua waiter na upewe kazi tofauti kuna watu wanaambiwa wangu unakuja kufanya kazi ya cleaning ama maybe kambuni na kuambia utafanya kazi ya cleaning hata kuna some ladies walikuwa wameambiwa hivyo kufika pale wakaambiwa umeid na walikuwa wameshalipa commission so huwa uh, our brokers wao wanafanya biashara ni wewe utaenda kuumia ukishafika pale so like our Lebanon watu wanataka advantage mtu anakuambia afadhali Lebanon kushinda maybe Saudi Arabia Mtu anakukonvince kabisa unasema yenyewe afadhali tu Lebanon hata sijasikia cases mingi za Lebanon unaanza tu safari Ukifika sasa Lebanon maisha inakuwa ngumu ukikuja hapa kwa mtandao kutafuta msaada watu wanakutusi mtu anakuuliza nani alikupeleka huko unakuwa discouraged mpaka hata unashindwa uanzie wapi unajua sasa they don't have any contract with Kenya inakuwa ngumu wewe kupata msaada kwa sababu wanaona sasa unaenda kumshtaki unaenda kumshtaki wapi huyu mwenye amekukosea sasa unaona sasa hiyo ni kukua demand mtu anakuwa demand hata uwezi jua rights zako kwa sababu ule mwenye alikupeleka pale ni broker yeye alishapokea pesa yake akaenda so Lebanon watu wenye wana, wameanza hivi ya processing to go to Lebanon kwanza tulia kidogo tuone vile upepo inaenda jumi nimeona watu wengi wamelea sana ukiona TikTok watu wanalia sana ukienda ukiona some clips watu wana share Facebook Watu wanalia sana kuhusu Lebanon by the way. And if you are doubting what I'm saying, unaweza weka unaweza angalia hiyo link yenye nimeweka hapo. You watch it. Uone huyo msichana wa kwanza anasema. Mwenye atakupeleka Lebanon, huyo ni shetani. Mwenye atakupeleka Lebanon, anakutafutia kifo. Yaani nilijaribu kuunganisha hivi hizo vitu za Lebanon, at least they make sense. Ndio mtu akijaribu kuangalia I'll keep sharing the link. At least watu waelewe. If you are planning to go to Lebanon, tafadhali. Tulia kwanza. Tulia kwanza. Tulia tu. Tulia tu. Usiwe na mbio. Tulia tu kwanza uone upepo inaenda aje. Ju nimesikia hapo shida ya maji iko juu kabisa, lakini pia sasa unaona hao watu wako na shida zao, pia wewe we umewafanyia kazi, hautaki kujua shida zao. Wewe unataka tu upate malipo bado ulipwi. So guys, ikiwa kuna plani ya kwenda Lebanon, kuja polepole pole kwanza. Kuja polepole pole kwanza. Usiharakishe. Usiharakishe watu wanahangaika sana. Sasa unaona kama Mwarabu kuna shida zake za kuona vile atapata maji, wewe ndiye atashughulikia vile utapata chakula. Ama vile atakulipa. Juu unaona sasa ni kama they are suffering, they are doing the right thing but they are also suffering in a way because hautakuwa unafanya kazi ulipo at the end of the month ukae kama miezi tano sita ujalipwa au upewe hiyo pesa kwa mkono uiona hata vile inakaa na and you have worked na watu wanajua uko majuu uliacha watoto nyumbani wenye unahitaji kukula familia yako inakutegemea pia najua watu wengine saa hizi wameshapewa budget ya christmas umefanya kazi na ujalipwa bado inakuwa ngumu sana by the way so wakati watu wengine wana, wanafikiria tu christmas wengine familia zingine wanalia vile wanaweza okuwa maisha ya wasichana wao kutoka Lebanon. So if you have that plan by the way, kuja pole pole. Kuja pole pole. Watu wamelia sana hadi unashanga kunaendaje. Na najua wale watu wenye uwa wanapenda kutusi wale watu wenye wanaomba msaada. Asi nyinyi kufieni huko hakuna mwenye aliwatuma. Au ni wale watu wenye ni lazy amtaki ku decide na ukifuatilia huyo mtu mwenye anatusi hao watu ni mtu mwenye hata ukimfuatilia sana unashangaa huyu naye akona shida gani. Juu unaambiwa mtu anaanza kusema unatuambia sahii ni tufanye nini. Na ukiangalia huyo mtu wenyewe hana uwezo anaweza saidia huyu mtu 
ni bitterness tu. This person is pouring bitterness to the wrong person. Huyo mtu amekuja tu amesema yenyewe hata kama nilikuwa nimejificha nikienda nimefika mwisho. Munisaidie ni tafadhali. Easy easy information huwa tunashare si ati ni lazima wewe mwenye umefika wewe ni msaidizi wa wakenya usaidie inafikia destiny helper si ati ni wewe kuna watu wako na machungu mtu wako na machungu ana keyboard warriors wale wenye wako na machungu wale watu amwezi jua what they are going through baada kama hujaifanya kazi golf uwezi elewa what these ladies are going through huyo ni mtu alifanya kazi 18 hours Between 16 to 18 hours amefanya hakuna kupumzika chakula pia ni shida but at the end of the day at the end of the month anakosa kulipwa akitisha pesa yake anapelekwa kwa agent kwa ofisi anafungiwa pale Kama hujawahi fanya kazi Middle East usiwe mtu wa haraka kutusi wale wetu, wale watu wenye wanalia wanataka msaada People have gone through a lot in the Middle East. Ukiona mtu ameamua tu wenyewe liwe liwalo, wacha hata kama ni kuwekwa kwa mtandao nionekane. Huyo mtu amevumilia mingi, amepitia mingi sana. Tafadhali, wale watu be nice, be nice on the comment section kwa wale watu wenye wanapenda kutusi wale watu wenye wanaomba msaada. Those people have gone through a lot. Na tena kitambo maybe mtu akuje ku, kuweka maybe umweke hiyo clip kwa mtandao Maybe amekutafuta sana ama mtu anakuwa touched anasema let me share this clip nione kama watu wanaweza pata msaada au ni watu wenye wamepitia shida na kitambo weke hiyo clip kwa mtandao maybe it has taken them a long time and they have suffered for a long period of time kama we mwenyewe unahisi njaa ukiskip lunch mara moja unasikia njaa siambuse wale watu wenye wanafanya kazi mingi na pia wananyimwa chakula pia wananyimwa haki yao Tuombe wale wa, watu wetu ambao wanafanya kazi Middle East. Tuombe wanaume kwa wanawake wenye wanafanya kazi Middle East. Kama we mwenyewe you, you have no plan of going to the Middle East, you can also pray for them. Alafu be nice to them. Wakihitaji msaada please be nice to them. Na watu wenye kama kuna plan yote, if you are watching this clip na una plan ya kwenda Lebanon, ukuje pole pole upostpone kwanza uone vile upepo inaenda usiende kwa sababu unaona wengine wakuna wivu hapana Janet Metuo good afternoon how are you Janet So ukienda so usione ni kama watu wanakuonea wivu tunajaribu tuone tuokoe maisha kabla preventive is better than cure Jua tu ukiona tu wenyewe hapana kama watu wamesema hii Lebanon ni mbaya. Usiende kuuliza hiyo broker ati kwa nini kunaendaje? Nimeona kuna mama mwingine anaitwa Lucky Mama anasema Lebanon ni mbaya. Una direct ya kuja kuwatch hii clip anakuambia huyo ni mwenyako na wivu hataki kuenda uende uh, utafute. Lakini kama tumeshaona light, kama watu wametuonyesha light wale nyoo kwa Lebanon, mbona sisi tu assume? Unajua kuna ile comfort ya watu wanasema mtu anaweza kufia mahali popote. Lakini before ukufe hivi utakuwa umepitia mingi. Kuna watu wana take risk ndio lakini saa hizi ukishasikia ni kubaya tulia kwanza tulia usiwe na mbio usiwe na mbio by the way So hiyo ndio kitu tunaweza kuambia And I'm also very happy let me appreciate my fans Mimi sina uwezo mkubwa yenye naweza sema I can help somebody The only thing mimi na huwa nafanya I just share the information on my page And I have loyal fans wenye wana share hiyo information inafikia destiny helper. I want to appreciate my fans in a special way. Kuna msana mwenye mliona niweka clip yake alikuwa anaitwa Electina Nasimiu Masinde. Hiyo msana boss wake sijui alikuwa amemwekea nini kwa kwa, kwa food. So alikuwa amegonjeka ile ugonjwa wake ilikuwa ya kawaida alikuwa analialia hapo kwa flow. But sasa hiyo msana finally aliweza kurudi nyumbani tuliongea na yeye. Mm -hmm. Ako ame, at least amepata nafuu sasa anaenda kuhustle from home. Nikipata time nitaenda mpaka kwa nyumbani tuongee at least atuambie what happened. So na appreciate kazi ya fans. Hii kushare videos za wale watu wenye wako na shida huwa inafikianga destiny helper. That is hiyo ndio kitu tunaweza fanya sisi wote as a team. Ukiona mwanzaka wako na shida instead ya kumrushia tu bitter words just try to share. Hata wewe unaweza kuwa una hauna usaidizi but if you share it out 
itafikia destiny helper so huyo msichana ako nyumbani na nashukuru pia it's god tu ni mungu tu anapenda watu wake na sisi tukipendana tukiona mwenzetu akiwa na shida tujaribu tu kusaidia penye tunaweza sio lazima ukue na pesa sio lazima ukue na kitu yote even sharing alone is a big deal inaweza saidia mwenzako so wale wasana wa Lebanon na jaribu tu nione vile kutaenda I'm good Janet nione kama wanaweza kupata msaada sijapata contacts zao ni vile tu hiyo clip yao nilitoa pale TikTok sijapata contacts zao Uh, kama kuna mtu anaweza kuwa amepata information ya wale wasichana wawili wenye walikuwa wanajieleza wa Lebanon you can connect me ama unaweza kuambia wanitafute tujaribu tu bahati tukishajua tukishajua agent unajua hakuna agent anataka kuharibu biashara yake tukishajua agent inakuwa rahisi wakijua hiyo agent wao juu walisema wanaenda kutafuta ofisi wakishajua agent wao mimi nikishapata namba ya agent na jina la ofisi hapo sasa inakuanga sawa juu sasa hapo huyo agent ndio tunapelekana na yeye na jina, na ofisi yake kwa sababu watu wataki kuharibu hiyo hizo ma ofisi wamechukua time ku build their name so hakuna agent atakubali ofisi yake ikwe ikwe itrend it negatively so they act wako na power wako na powers ya kusaidia watu so ikiwa ukienda pale na hata ujui ofisi yako sasa hapo inakuwa ngumu hata mwenye anakusaidia so if you know the name of the agent you have their number their name of the office hapo uko sawa kuna inakuwa rais so if you have kama kuna mtu anaweza pata contacts za wale wasichana waambie tu they share with me tujaribu au agents wao tuone vile wanasaidika nilisikia mmoja anasema mu agent wake anaitwa Lucy but sasa Lucy Lucy ni wangapi ah uh, suzmo anasema watu nao ni arrogant mtu unajua Lebanon hakuna embassy na wanaenda huko suzmo unaongea ukweli but wacha nikwambie unajua sio kila mtu ako na hii knowledge ya embassy embassy unajua mtu akikusafirisha hata embassy ikujangi kwa kichwa yako But sasa ni vizuri as we continue creating, creating awareness watu wanaelewa unaona juu sasa mtu anakuambia tu na wewe unaona uko desperate unataka kazi na mtu anakuambia nyewe Lebanon ni kuzuri anakujaribu kukonvince sio kila mtu anajuanga ati hakuna embassy kitu kama Iraq is hakuna biashara yote iko nayo na Kenya so what wa the more we keep creating awareness <coughs> the more watu wanaendelea kusoma So tusichoke kusaidiana. Kama kuna mtu atapata information yao wasichana, you tell me. Nimeweka link hapo utawaona. Kama ulikuwa umeona mahali popote, jaribu kuwapata, waambie wanitafute. I will try my best to tuone kama wanaweza kusaidiwa. Yeah. So watu wenye wako na plan ya kwenda Lebanon, mtulie kidogo kwanza. Na mmesikia aina biashara yote na Kenya. So ukiwa na shida it's up to you. It will be on your own. Kuna mtu anataka kuongea hapa wacha ni msikize. Maybe anatoka Lebanon. Na uki nikikuconnect ukisikia sauti inapotea usiende kwa sababu huwa inapotea nikikuweka hivi then inaanza nikitengeneza please. Ah eh? uh, Suzy anasema ladies don't go to Lebanon and Iraq like a plague no embassy in those countries. Thank you Suzmo. Mbona kuna mtu alikuwa anataka kuingia hapa? I just want to see Okay. So is more I'm adding you. Ukisikia sauti inapotea usiende because itaitengeneza. I think so